You want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 on your computer with your PlayStation controllers? Here's how. First thing we're going to do is download the Virtual Gamepad Emulation Bus, also referred to as Bijim Bus, Bijim Bus, BGM, whatever. At the time of this writing, the links on the official site aren't working, or at least not for me. So instead I went to their GitHub repository and I downloaded the EXE from there. Once that's done downloading, go ahead and open it up, run the install, and just follow the steps on the screen. When that's done, we need to install Microsoft.NET 6.0.6 .6 Runtime Desktop. There's also a chance that you'll need to install C++. There's two different versions of C++. If you're not sure which one you need, open up your file explorer on your computer, right click this PC, and click Properties. Then look at System Type and you'll see the X-based processor. If you need further help, there's a link in the description for that. After all that's installed, we can go ahead and download DS4 Windows. Once that's done, go ahead and unzip it and put it in the directory of your choice. It doesn't matter where. Using a USB or USB-C cable, plug your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controller into your computer. You can also use Bluetooth, but I prefer a USB connection. Now go into the DS4 Windows folder and look for ds4windows.exe. Double click it and this window will appear. If you control it and show right away, give it a couple seconds. Now we go over to the Profiles tab, click New, you'll be prompted to confirm. Alright, click Yes. Choose DualShock 4, even if you have a DualShock 5, PlayStation 5, whatever. Uh, just choose DualShock 4 and click Apply. Go over to the Other tab. Just confirm that it says DualShock 4 in the emulator controller. Go ahead and give your profile a name, click save, and then you come back to the controllers tab. Here, you can select your profile. All right, next we want to go into Steam. We want to right click on Red Dead Redemption 2, click on properties, go to controller, and make sure the override for Red Dead Redemption 2 says disable Steam input. Now we can go ahead and open up Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, so now we're on the homepage or whatever you want to call this. Switch it over to controller. All I did was press a button on the controller. Now you see we got L1, R1, and you see at the bottom of the screen we got the triangle, the X, and the circle. If you don't have those icons, check out this video for how to get them.